Oh, JD here, Tyrrell Olivus, and we are back on F1 2021 as always, and continuing our hot map and setup series. We only have, I think, four more tracks to go, including this one, and we arrive at Brazil today, where Ronha is currently P1 by uh, quite a bit. I know he's very, very good around here. I think last game he was pretty insane, so. It's going to be a tough time to beat. But as I was doing that run here, Brazil is just a very, very weird track for me. I love driving it and it should suit my driving style quite a bit. I always love racing around here. But in terms of the one that pace, especially this sector one, it looks quick and I feel really quick when I do it. But the lap time just doesn't translate into that. So. We're just going to gloss over this first lap and then we'll go break it down after this, but it's just a very weird track for me. I just can't seem to get the lap time and I guess people do have those tracks where no matter what you throw at it, you can't do the lap time. I could definitely see some areas I can improve and I know what kind of lap time I can achieve, but it's just a very weird track for me where I feel like everything looks like it's going well, but I think it's maybe just been slightly more committed and aggressive into the corners i think my smooth driving style especially for that first sector turns one and two you need to be very snappy with the steering wheel in the change of direction and that's not typically my driving style so definitely some areas to work on for sure but coming across the line it's going to be only a 105.3 we definitely had the sectors for a low two in terms of being run hard i think it's it's going to take a very special lap for me to do that. And that's a very, very impressive time. He's just a beast in TT, but particularly around here, he is just absolutely insane. So GG to him. But we'll go break down the lap regardless. Thought I did pretty much most things right. So coming into here, you want to be braking as you hit this 50 meter ball. So as that goes out of view, that's where you want to be going down on the brakes. Going into second gear, then up into third immediately turn take a lot of curb on this right hand side and just be as planted as you can on the throttle you really just have to risk it going through there and i just needed to be a bit more aggressive because you get the drs sign nicely and for this one just before the 50 meter board that's where you want to be throwing in the car do all of the downshifts before you hit the corner fourth gear then going up into fifth use all the track on the exit and we did that fairly well Come over to here, it's quite a nice reference point. As you hit the 50 meter board, that's where you want to do a slight dab, downshift, and turn in. Fifth gear, then going up to sixth, just to stabilize the car. Use the track on the exit. As the grass starts, that's your breaking point and turning in. Use a lot of this curb on the inside and really attack this left hand. They really have to throw in the car quite a lot. Stay nice and tight, don't let it drift too out wide. Aim for the end of the track. So as the grass starts, that's where you want to be braking and turning in. I do quite a wide line into here. So you take a little bit more of that curb, try and stay tight on the exit. Don't let it drift out too out wide. Let it drift out a little bit, but didn't lose too much time through there. Flat out through the set. And this is a very awkward braking zone. Really it's between the two boards. So about 70, 75 meters. Make sure you kiss the curb on the inside because it will rotate the car nicely for you. You can see we were gaining a bit of lap time because the last lap I did was good up until that point. Make sure you stay really tight to the left hand side because that will gain you lap time by minimizing the distance of the track. I'm coming across the line. It's a pretty solid, stable lap. I don't think there was too much wrong, mainly just in this first sector. I can gain uh, quite a bit more time, I feel, personally. But everywhere else felt pretty nice. The setup is identical. I think it's exactly the same as Ron Haas. I actually quite like this setup. The only thing I changed was the brake bias to 56. I would really recommend that uh, through when you're racing online because 55 felt very oversteery for me. But you can see 9.8 wings, quite an unlocked setup, so making it quite easy on the traction. Good rotation with that off throttle as well. Suspension geometry all the way to the right and everything all the way to the left. That's just, just to give you the most stable car in the high speed as possible. 151717. Again, quite typical of what I really do use. 
156. Ranha uses 55. I don't know if he uses it for every corner. Maybe that's why through the first sector he can get a little bit more rotation. And then same tire pressure is pretty standard as well. He can use 55 throughout every corner. But it just makes it for me. I just wasn't very consistent with it. And I would always probably use 56. But I think it's more about his driving ability around here. He just manages to hook it up so well. But the potential is there. I just needed to be more aggressive in this first sector. You can see the second sector as well. Our theoretical is a point two. You can see we did do a faster last sector on some occasions. But that first sector, he is just insane through there. And he almost has two temps in everyone. So GG to him. I feel it was a good setup. I'd maybe run 8-8 eight, eight for the race, put it down again. Just to get that little bit more stability. Because I do feel that is important. But... Hopefully you are enjoying this. Thank you so much. Catch you soon. Peace.